Hi, welcome back. This is um, number two in the series of software applications that I like to use in my shack. You may have already seen number one. I'll put a link uh, up there, um, which concentrated on this, which is the Power SDR software. So anyway, let's uh, move this out of the way because we're not going to be looking at this on this episode too much. What we are going to be looking at is this, which is my second most favorite software, and it's called Log4OM. So stay tuned and we'll jump straight in. Log4OM is a login package with a little bit of a difference actually. I have used a few different login packages um, this is the one that I fell most in love with. Um, it communicates beautifully with um, the Power SDR software. It also works really, really well with um, the Digimode software that I use. So uh, it talks via a cat, and you do need to do a little bit of work to get all the various different cat connections working. Uh, I use a little bit of software called DDUtil. Um, but anyway, I won't talk about that, but suffice to say, it all works now and it all talks. So for instance, on the flex, if I change the frequency on the flex, you'll see that it changes the frequency in log4om. Equally, let me just show you this, because this is, I think, quite clever. Down here, we've got the ability to select a second radio. So if I select that second radio, you'll see that it's now changed over to be um, uh, two meters. I'm just gonna pick up the webcam. I know this isn't very professional, sorry about this. But the other radio is this, it's my um, 991. And if I just change the frequency on the 991, you'll see that down here, it's changing on the log for OM. So I've got two radios connected simultaneously. The beauty of that is the fact that I could be on HF and then I could be on VHF with the 991 and all of a sudden you've got to start messing around with putting in frequencies manually whereas here we can just literally change from one radio to the next. Equally which I think is great is we can actually change the frequency here in log for om which transversely changes the frequency on the actual radio itself. Okay, so let's just maximize this now I've showed you that. Now, again, this isn't meant to be a training session on the software. This is just meant to give you a bit of a taster as far as some of the really sexy features that I think that you'll enjoy. Okay, so straight away, because I've got subscription with QRZ.com and also some other online services, as soon as I type in a call sign, it will actually bring up information interrogating the online database. So, I don't know, let's just choose a call sign. Um, let's choose the ham radio uh, vlog call, call sign, which is Golf 4 HRV. So, without pressing any more keys, it's found information about G4 HRV. So, you can see there it's brought up a graphic. If I typed in uh, my call sign, it would bring up my QRZ page. So we can see the location, we can zoom in and zoom out. Now obviously, because the location is exactly here, it's not showing any information about a path. I know, let's choose Darren, um, the, uh, the author of Power SDR. So K-E-9-N-S, okay? So it will go away, find Darren's information. There's a picture of his shack. There's a picture of, or the map of his location just outside Chicago. Down here, it's given information about the distance and also his grid locator, short path, long path. And if we've got a beam, then it will give us information about um, the heading, the bearing. Um, it gives us here information about whether we've worked in before um, and on what bands and what modes. Um, back up here, it gives us de details about um, the person that we're speaking to. We can actually type in what the signal report was that we gave him and what he sent us. The start date and time of the QSO, the end date, notes such as the weather or, or any other information that he particularly told me. Frequencies automatically put in 
buy the cat connection so i don't have to worry about that um as you can see there that's the uh, that's the route that the signal is taking um if i click here this will actually bring up my logbook and it will show me the previous um qso's that i've had it automatically can be set to go off to log of the world club log hrd log all those kind of online services we've also got a cluster uh, so it will show us stations that are on um, what bands and modes they're on what frequencies they're on uh, also we've got some really interesting information here with regards to propagation uh, graphically as well and also information whether we've worked stations before uh, maybe what signal reports we gave them uh, we've also got the ability to link into a rotator so you can actually set it so that you type in, type in the uh, call sign of the station and it will automatically point the beam in the direction of the station so there you go. Um, I didn't ever want this to be a, a big training course. Uh, it's just really to give you a taster. And um, thanks very much for watching. And if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to give me the thumbs up. Give me any comments below. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, stay safe and I'll see you shortly. Thanks a lot. Bye bye for now.